hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me Talha and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create cove light effect in Photoshop let's get started so as you can see here I have this rendering which I created in Revit for my interior course if you want to get this course you can just follow the first link in the description anyway it took me around 10 minutes to create this lighting effect in Revit now I will show you how quickly you can create uh, such lighting effect in Photoshop. So let's do that. Actually the Photoshop is not installed in my computer so I am going to use an alternative for that which is completely free. You just need to open up your browser and type here photopia.com and as you can see here the, the Photopia also have the same interface as the Photoshop if you are using the photoshop you can still follow this tutorial so let's open up the image from the computer here i have it i actually created this uh, rendering without this lighting effect so let's open this up now here first we will create a new layer let's rename it to cove light now just zoom in on the area where you want to create the cove light so just hold all key on your keyboard and then uh, use your mouse wheel to zoom in so now we are going to use brush tool to create the cove light effect so just go here and select brush tool and then you can choose the color for your light for now i will select white color click ok and then right click and select this soft mechanical brush and adjust the size of your brush let's increase that a bit now we just need to click on the area where you want to create this light effect so I will just click here and then you can hold alt key and zoom out and then zoom in on this area we want to create the light until here so just hold shift key on your keyboard and then click and there we go we have created this lighting effect of course we need to do some more changes here but before that I will create on this side as well so just zoom in click and then zoom out and zoom in on the area or the edge of the ceiling until where you want to create this light effect and then hold shift key and click so we got this lighting effect here now we need to erase the part of this light which we don't want so to do that first you need to turn off this cove light layer and then use the selection tool and select the area which we don't want to show the light so just zoom in and select the edge of the ceiling So I made a selection like this now just turn this layer on again and delete and there you go we have created this cool looking ceiling light effect here now of course we don't want to show that on this light so let's erase that by using the erase tool select that right click it is the size of this eraser and then click here and hold shift key and then click at the bottom here like so repeat the same here as well perfect now if I zoom in here you can see it's not looking that realistic so we can use this eraser tool and erase the extra light here so right click uh, make sure you select this soft mechanical uh, eraser again and then just erase this part like so and if I zoom out you can see we got this cool looking cove light effect here now let's use the same method and create the under cabinet light here so first create a new layer rename it under cabinet light and let's adjust the size of the brush maybe we'll increase this a bit like so and then just click at the corner of this cabinet Okay, we'll just undo that and click here 
and I will just hold shift key and click it at the end of this cabinet here and then just continue from here click and then hold shift key and click at the corner here now let's make a selection here and remove the unwanted part of this light so I will use this rectangular selection tool and then zoom in first turn off this layer and then let's make a selection zoom out and zoom in on this area just make a selection like this until this cabinet and then turn this layer on and delete perfect of course we want to erase this part as well which we can do that by using the eraser tool where is it just select the eraser tool select this soft mechanical and then erase this part let's repeat that here as well now for these lights i want to reduce the opacity so let's reduce the opacity a bit like so perfect now let's export this image and compare both the Revit rendering and this one side by side so just go to file export then jpeg click save open this and i will just go to this folder and open this one in another viewer let's select the windows viewer take that here zoom it zoom in a bit and let's open this one which we have just created and you can see both are looking exactly the same i only had to change the color of this light so it took around 10 minutes to create these lights and this one we created in only around two minutes i guess two or three minutes so of course you can use the same method and create the vertical lighting effect as well such as this one so this was a quick tip i wanted to share with you guys that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior courses you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video